This is the Tudor Black Bay 58, and I'm gonna. It's not a review today. It's a. It, I've said in the thumbnail, long term review. It is, but I want to share some. Look, this is one of the most reviewed watches out there on the internet. So I want to share a couple of different things, my thoughts on this watch because I've had it for nearly two years now, a year and a half, two years. And um, this thing here, I'll just show you. This is a Tudor repair pouch. Now, for those who've been following me, you know that I got this watch repaired, literally two, three months after I actually purchased it. I purchased it brand new. The watch itself developed some sort of orange oxidation, something on the dial, on the actual handset. Um, I don't even know what it was. So we took it into Tudor, they had a look at it, they replaced the dial, they replaced the handset, and now the watch is back. So it took about a month, that was last year. I got the watch back and you know what? Having this watch, as soon as I actually did that video where I got the watch returned, a lot of people said to me, Pete, get rid of it. It's rubbish. Yeah, you know, Tudor is rubbish. It's a it's a crap brand. It's, you know, I've got to be honest. It's it's one of the nicest, one of the best watches in my collection. And I say that without any reservations because a lot of you guys know that I've got watches that are twice as expensive as this, if not more. And yet I still reckon this is one of the best value, best tolerances, best built watches that I've owned. You got to be careful what you hear out there because everyone's got an opinion. I've got an opinion. Now, my opinion might be valid, it might be not. Take it for what it may. Take it with a grain of salt. But I got this watch back, and I got to tell you, until about a month ago, a month and a bit, this watch has been the best watch in my watch box. Until about a month ago, it's been the best built watch as far as tolerances. Can you hear that? That is that is lovely. So the, the tolerances of this watch, the screw down, latch down experience, um, the way this, the, the COSC certification, the accuracy of this watch has been phenomenal. So everything about this watch has been great, but also the price. See, these were a bargain. When they first got released, the initial price are an absolute bargain. And I, th I still think they are, relatively speaking, compared to all the watches that are going up there, value-wise, price-wise, these are still a bargain. Because even on the secondary market today, you can grab a real good watch in pristine condition, box and papers, for a good deal. So, but I digress. The watch itself, I got it back from the repairers and people said, mate, get rid of it, all the rest. And I just felt a bit, you know what, I'm going to listen to what I want. I love this watch. I love everything about it. As a built watch, as a well-built watch, and I said a month ago, roughly thereabouts, I received the Grand Seiko as a gift. And that particular watch is probably built and its tolerances are just that little bit better than this it is such a marvelous watch so this has been the hero in my collection as far as quality affordability uh, build quality uh, accuracy everything it's been a hero for since i bought it and i want to share something with you guys when i put it in for repair i was a little bit concerned because i think you know i hope they don't actually touch that movement i know they're going to replace the doll i know they replaced the handset but that movement was so accurate, one second every three days or something it was gaining, and it still is. If they had touched that movement and they varied it in some way, it really would have, you know what, it probably would have pushed me over the line to get rid of this watch. I pretty much would have been gutted. But they didn't. They replaced the doll, the handset, watch got delivered back to me. It's spot on, absolutely spot on. So this is the most talked about, raved about, hyped up watch in modern times, and the most reviewed apart from Rolex, of course. So, and when I say hype, people were buying and selling these watches from retail back then, if you can remember, and they were selling them 20, 30% above retail, and they were getting the money. Because supply, demand, people believe the hype, whatever it is. But I waited a full year after the release. I waited for the hype to actually die down. I tried this watch on in the AD. I went in again, and I thought, you know what? I've got to get this watch. I've done my sums. I know the pluses and the minuses. I ended up buying it retail, couldn't be happier. So, But if there's one thing that I could change with this watch, well, if, if there's two things that I could change, one of them would have been the wearability on the bracelet. There is no half link, as everyone knows, and potentially a uh, on-the-fly or toolless micro adjustment, that would have been great. But um, the second change, and I've mentioned this before, and a few people sort of thought, oh, you're, you're nitpicking. The loom, 
I would have loved to see blue loom on the blue watch. It's just it just makes sense for me. They've got a green loom on this C3 or thereabouts Tudor's formula, and yeah, I just. I know they've got an old watch and they've stuck with the old loom and what it used to look like back then. They've tried to revive it in a modern take. For me personally, it's a modern watch. It's a modern reinterpretation of sorts. Just make modern loom. It just makes sense to me. But again, this is all subjective, guys. I'm just sharing what my experience with this watch is. If I had to keep two or three watches in my collection and get rid of everything else, this would be in the collection. It really would. If I had to keep one, well... Yeah, I'd probably let it go then. So <laughs> there's a different favorite for me. And you guys know it's a Seiko SLA. It's technically probably not as good as this, but that's a beautiful watch. But I digress, guys. I wanted to share this with you guys. Just a simple video on um, casual setup, as you can see here, just sitting down, enjoying the day. And I thought, look, I've got 10 minutes to spare. I'll share my thoughts on the Tudor. I haven't been able to, as I've been very busy with my photography. But thank you for watching, guys. Be well and safe. Buy what you want, enjoy what you want. Don't let the people out there tell you that, hey, you know, this is no good, this is good or this is bad. Just follow your heart and your budget, of course. But thanks again for watching. Be well and safe. And we'll see you in the next one.